Hey guys, Josiah here with Aesthetics Fitness. In this video, I go over my progress on the keto diet. All right, before I get started with today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click the little bell icon. That way, every time I come out with a new video, you guys are getting notified so you don't miss out on any great new content. Also, if you feel like it, it really helps me out if you hit that like button down below as well. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. All right, so for those of you who don't know, for the last month, I have been working on cutting down and getting lean for summer. I've actually been using my Get Shredded for Summer program, which you can check out here for free on YouTube. And since I have been dieting in a more high carb, low fat capacity for the last month, I used this week as an opportunity to change things up and go with the keto diet for this week, which I know a lot of people who are hardcore keto fans are probably going to disagree with because it does take two to three days for your body to enter ketosis, so they might figure, well, if you're only going on the keto diet for a week, what's really the point, but I'll get to that later. So anyways, I wanted to talk to you about my experience with that, the progress that I made, the science behind the keto diet, and how you can use it to help you lose weight for summer. Now, first things first, what is the keto diet? Basically, the keto diet is a very low carb diet where you're looking at getting all of your nutrients from sources of healthy fats, proteins, and whole foods, preferably organic if possible. It is not the same thing as just a standard low carb diet where you're trying to keep your carbs below about 100 grams per day. With the keto diet, you are really trying to consume like below 30 grams of carbs per day. You're trying to keep them very low so that your body enters a state called ketosis where in order to produce energy, your body is having to actually burn stored body fat rather than use carbohydrates that you're taking in as a food source. And this state of ketosis is what makes the keto diet so great for losing fat very rapidly because your body goes into a state where the only primary energy source it has is the stored body fat that you have in your body and it's going to very rapidly convert that into energy rather than being able to kind of have that cushion of carbohydrates that you're consuming each day that it can use for energy first before it attacks your body's fat stores in order to burn fat. And another thing about the keto diet is it will cause you to lose your stored water weight very quickly when you transition onto the diet. This week I lost approximately four pounds, which obviously is not a consistent sustainable rate of weight loss, but most of that was not fat that I lost. At least probably two to two and a half pounds of that was just water weight that I was storing in my muscles and in my body subcutaneously that was just sort of shed out when I took cut carbs from my diet. And the reason I transition onto a keto diet occasionally for a period of a week to two weeks every time I'm dieting and leaning down is that it allows you to really change up the sorts of food you're able to eat while staying in a caloric deficit. For instance, I had not been able to eat things like really fatty large hamburgers, bacon, whole eggs, steak, things of that nature while on a very low fat, high carb diet because they simply don't fit the macronutrient ratio very effectively. But when you change to a keto diet, suddenly all of the cheeses and all of the steaks and eggs and avocados, things you really want to eat that you've been craving for the last several weeks, are suddenly your primary basis of your diet and you can consume them without blowing your calories or your macronutrient ratios. So it gives your body kind of a time to indulge in some of the things that it has been craving while you've been on a different form of diet. Another benefit to the keto diet that I experienced this week is that it overall makes you feel a lot fuller when you're done eating because you're consuming a lot more fat. Fat sticks with your body for a longer period of time than carbohydrates do. It gives you a very nice feeling of fullness. So oftentimes people on the keto diet don't even have to track their calories very religiously because they're simply not consuming as many calories as they are on other diets because they're not having any of those empty carbohydrates that they normally consume that don't fill them up and cause them to eat more food. However, I of course was still tracking my calories, eating between 22 to 2300 per day on this diet. And I did lose, like I said, probably around a pound and a half to two pounds of fat this week while doing the keto diet. Now for some of the cons to the diet. The first is your mood is probably going to be lowered a little bit, and mine certainly was. I found myself being a little more cranky, a little more irritable, especially in the first four to five days of transitioning on the diet. By the very end of it, by the time it was done, I started feeling a little better because my body had kind of gotten used to the macronutrient ratios that I was consuming, and that lack of carbohydrates wasn't hitting me quite as hard as it was at the beginning of the diet when I wasn't used to it. Another reason I don't stay on this diet year-round is the effect it has on my gym performance. I like to be at peak performance every time I go to the gym and study have shown, also my own experience has shown, that when you are on a very low carb or ketogenic diet, your performance in the gym, especially with high rep or high weight exercise, is going to suffer slightly. You simply aren't going to be able to lift as much weight as you are able to on a higher carb diet because you don't have those energy stores that carbohydrates and muscle glycogen provide for you when you go into the gym. And another reason that I don't advocate staying on a very low carb or ketogenic diet long term 
is the effect that it has on testosterone. Now, if you're a person who wants to build muscle, especially if you're a man who wants to build muscle, testosterone levels are very, very important to achieve that goal. For example, in a study by Volek et al., they demonstrated that in resistance athletes, levels of carbohydrates and levels of testosterone were roughly correlated. Basically, the more carbohydrates a person was consuming, the higher their levels of testosterone were going to be. Similarly, in a study by Lane et al., they showed that men who consumed higher levels of carbohydrates had higher testosterone levels and lower cortisol levels. Basically, cortisol is a stress hormone that makes it very hard to lose fat and build muscle, so having that elevated on a very low-carb diet is not going to help you achieve your goals, especially when it functions inversely with testosterone. A couple other reasons not to stay on the ketogenic diet long-term are things like lowered sex drive and perpetual bad breath, both of which are effects of the low-carbohydrate intake of the diet. Now again, does this mean the ketogenic diet is bad in any way, shape, or form? Absolutely not. The ketogenic diet is very useful for people with specific goals. In my case, I like to use it as a way to short-term transition off of my standard diet that works better for me personally, which is a higher carb diet, and use it in periods of one to three weeks in order to help make leaning down a little easier and more efficient and give my body a break and change things up so that I am consuming varied amounts of different macronutrients throughout the months that I am training and dieting. So with all that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you prefer when you are trying to lean down a higher fat, lower carb diet or a lower fat, higher carb diet, which works better for you personally? Or is that something you've never really tracked before and are just looking at getting started? Either way, let me know in the comments down below. And that is it for today's video. So make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel because I have new content coming out all the time to help you guys train smarter and look better.